Hello and welcome back to the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel where of course we're giving you all the latest news, views and opinions on all things Albion. Back again with another transfer update for you because we have signed a brand new player, another new player to add to Valerian Ismail's ranks uh, of West Bromwich Albion. We have signed Jason Malumbi on a season-long loan from Brighton. So we'll be talking all about that deal, what he can bring to the club, what he can't bring to the club and just the details of the deal and what we can expect from him at West Bromwich Albion for the forthcoming season and possibly beyond. We're talking about all that in today's video. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel. There's content like this, such as transfer updates, match day vlogs, podcasts and match previews, match reactions, all that jazz pumping out on a you know, couple of every couple of days, there's a new bit of content on the YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribing. We're going for a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Make sure you're subscribing. Comment down below your thoughts on the transfer of Jason Malumbi to West Bromwich Albion. Let's get straight into finding a bit more about the Irishman. So straight in with the start of this video about Jason Malumbi, who signs for West Bromwich Albion on load. Uh, from Brighton and Hove Albion down on the south coast. The 22-year-old becomes the club's sixth signing and will provide a bit of competition and certainly some depth in midfield alongside Jake Livermore and Alex Mowat, who have both been playing all the games in the league so far this season. Uh, I'm obviously going to have some very tired legs come the end of the season if they uh, aren't to be replaced or aren't to have some competition. The Republic of Ireland International brings some extra legs into midfield, but is also experienced in the second tier, making more than 50 appearances in the championship for Millwall and Preston over previous temporary loan spells. Albion boss Valerian Ismail was delighted to add Malumbi to his squad, highlighting his mentality as a key decision to sign him. We've got a view to a permanent move for Jason Malumbi in this particular loan spell, which is pretty decent. Obviously, um, he is, he's got the ability in championship level, as, as I think a lot of people have seen from him. Um, and I think it's going to be a decent decent little loan spell for Albion. I'm sure that a lot of you guys will think similar. But he's a young player, got a lot to prove in the champ, got a bit to prove in the championship, probably going to want to make that step up to Premier League level and certainly can do so if he puts in the work for the Albion. Um, I think it's look, looking looking pretty decent for Albion in terms of the midfield now. We've got a... Um, We've got the lad in the midfield. Uh, obviously, his contract is he's under contract until June 2023. So it is going to be a deal that could um, that could bring a bit more that, that could bring a permanent spell with it. Obviously, a loan with a view to a permanent deal is, is always a good thing for Albion. Take a look at him, see what see, see what he's like, and then obviously he's got the ability to um, if he's got the ability to to carry on and, and pull through, then perhaps you know maybe he's one for the one for the one for the. Um, the permanent move. But yeah, let's talk a little bit about Jason Malumbi and what he can bring to Albion because he's had two loan spells previously in the championship, as we mentioned there, with Millwall and Preston. So obviously got a bit of experience at championship level, still only 22 years old and only just turned 22 as well. Um, he's, he's got a little bit of experience at championship level with Millwall and Preston playing um, 36 games for Millwall as they narrowly missed out on a playoff place back in 2019 to 20. So that was under Slaven when we were under Slaven Bilic, and then also playing for Preston where he managed to um, get 15 appearances uh, when they finished 13th in the league. So obviously quite a big part in the Millwall, uh, the Millwall lineup for that particular season, but not quite a big part in the Preston lineup for that that particular season last year. So. Let's look at what he can bring because obviously he's got a, a little bit of ability because obviously he's been at Brighton. Um, then he, uh, he he joined the club in uh, joined Brighton in 2016 and made his first team debut in the League Cup tie against Barnet in 27. And he's been a regular in the under 23s for Brighton, especially this season as well, where he's played a couple of games for them as well uh, in the under 23s. But he joined um, the Championship side Millwall um, at the start of the 2019-20 season and put in a good. Good show for them, to be honest. Let's have a look at a little bit of his stats. So he played, made 31 starts with five sub appearances alongside that, and then played 3,000 total minutes with 83 minutes per match made. Um, and it got an average rating of 6.05. I know those are down to opinion and down to different stats, but you know, we can still take a little bit of a leaf from them. Um, uh, he, he got uh, a total of uh, one goal in his time uh, and expected goals of 1.53 um, so he could have scored more apparently uh, got 24 shots during his time there also got an assist in there so he's not really going to be breaking the lines as much he's going to be sort of a functional midfielder from what I can tell from him already um, 
made 97 tackles attempted and 49 of those were successful so 51 percent of his tackles were successful that he made during his time at Millwall I think this is the best basis because obviously he played nearly a full season there so it's always good to to just take a look at how much he's played and then obviously take it from there then uh, made 1,281 passes with 1,072 of those being completed 84% that is of those could be completed obviously alongside that one assist that he had made 54 fouls managed nine yellow cards so he's never going to really be breaking the line I don't think it is, is probably what we're looking at here for us I definitely don't think he's going to be the one who's going to be breaking in and, and coming out coming on and, and really really pushing through uh, and breaking lines um, obviously made a, a Premier League appearance only only last uh, uh, only last season for for Brighton um, but in terms of his time at Preston, it was a it was a relatively similar story from what we can expect, really. Um, he, he made seven appearances, joined, I think, in the January um, after joining from 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 Brighton uh, and got a goal, got an assist and didn't get any goals, unfortunately, in that particular loan spell. So definitely worth going off the Millwall stat. He just seems like a, quite a functional midfielder, one who's going to sort of screen the back four, um, keep the ball moving. Um Here's what Valerian Ishmael had to say about him. Valer uh, Valerian Ishmael said, Jason is the perfect example of a player who has the right mentality and suits our philosophy. He is the right player for us and we are delighted to have him. His skills out of possession are incredible and he gives us more volume and more possibilities in midfield, which will support us with our intensity and is one of his strengths. Jason is young, but he's already got a lot of experience in the championship. Uh, and with Ireland, he has the perfect profile and new profile to be a West Brom player and I'm delighted to have him. Um, but yeah... Obviously, that's interesting that he thinks he's got the right mentality, which is obviously something that Valerian Ishmael stresses. Obviously, he played for Ireland. Um, he's, he's got he's got his fair fair share of caps for the Republic of Ireland, certainly so far. Um, does Jason Malumbi, which is fantastic to see, a, you know, an international player joining us. Um, and after bagging a, a fair amount of caps, nine caps since 2020, which is decent. I think he's probably played nearly every game for, for Ireland since then. Um yeah, got uh, five appearances in 2020, four appearances in 2021. So I think he's definitely pushing through with with however many he can he can he can manage. But yeah, I think he's definitely the player that that we might need as a bit of depth in midfield. Obviously, I don't think he's quite going to start just yet. But obviously, depending on his ability, depending on what he can bring to the club, uh, I've seen a lot from Millwall fans, and they're they're pretty pleased with what he did for them. Preston didn't quite show what he was capable of apparently, but I think. Uh, t there's a video of him uh, where he, he completes and, and perfects the high press excellently, which I think is fantastic at Preston or Millwall. I think it, I think it was the one at Millwall where he just closes down the keeper uh, and runs, you know, about 50 yards to close him down, and then closes him down and, and wins the ball, and then is, is a, his, his teammate taps it in. So definitely with Jason, I think it's going to be a case of a bit of squad depth, a bit of extra legs in the midfield because it's obviously quite dif difficult to to find. Um, to find to find players that are willing to to be up to, for the challenge on loan. Obviously, if he's committed to the cause, he may well find himself with a permanent move. And I think that's that's probably the ambition and definitely the the incentive behind this for for, for Jason Malumbi. I think it's definitely going to be something that he can try and bring in and try and try and try and use to spur him on really to play a little bit better. Because obviously, if you've got a permanent move on the line, you're going to want to play well. You're going to want to excel your game to try and prove that you are worthy of the, of the permanent move so definitely with Jason Malumbi I think it's definitely something that we're going to look at getting that permanent move and I think it'd be nice to have some more younger players around the squad and get, get more of a younger spine and obviously we've got some experienced players in the side but it's always nice to have some youngsters in and always nice to, to, to play some players with fresher legs and Jason Malumbi is definitely going to do that for us obviously Republic of Ireland international nine times and getting him on loan with a view to buy not quite sure what that fee might be but I think it's definitely not going to be too much. We certainly wouldn't have agreed to it if it if it was too much because you know what Albion are like. But I'm pretty pleased with Jason Malumbi signing and obviously going to provide a bit of squad depth in midfield. High energy, um, decent about de decent range of passing as well by the looks of things. So definitely going to be looking forward to seeing Jason Malumbi uh, on the Albion pitch. Um, it's really great to see that we've we've managed to coop in another loan signing. Obviously, play it, spending no money so far. Uh, and and not managing any not managing to spell to spell anything so far but yeah obviously he already knows Albion players Callum Robertson Adara O'Shea from his international duties which is quite nice to see um, and he's quite tenacious and, and he's going to want to going to want to uh, be comfortable on the ball and he's definitely going to provide those those that that bit of um, that bit of depth and that bit of ability in midfield so looking forward to seeing what he can bring in bring into the squad and I'm really looking forward to seeing what he can add to the to the side I think. Um, 
obviously playing really well, playing really well at, at Millwall does fill me with a little bit of confidence. But yeah, he links up with uh, Callum Robinson and Dara O'Shea, which is quite nice to see him, um, to see him getting. Um, I think it's going to be quite nice to see him getting going and getting going in an Albion shirt. There's lots of positivity around him. Um, and he, he called us a big club, which is always uh, nice to see. But yeah, um, good to see Jason Malumbi joining the club. And we're looking forward to seeing what he can bring to the Hawthorns. Obviously, didn't play in the Middlesbrough game. But um, he says he says that he's an athletic uh, and a midfielder likes to get uh, around the pitch and be, a, be aggressive when he needs to. So... Fair play to him. If he's going to bring that to the club, I look forward to seeing what he can do. That does bring me to the end of this transfer update on the Baggies podcast YouTube channel. Be sure to check out our other content and any other content that we've got on the channel. There's a 2021 to 22 content playlist in the description. Make sure you're subscribed. We're heading for a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. You can help us out, get us to a thousand, and we'll be eternally grateful. But that does bring me to the end of the Baggies podcast transfer update for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.